So this problem has four parts and uh, we're given quite a bit of information in the introduction. So part A is asking um, what is the resistance of the wire and uh, our formula for that from the formula sheet is that it's rho L over A where rho is the resistivity and that's given as 150 times 10 to the minus 8. The length of the wire L is given to be 55 meters. And then as far as the area of the wire, we have to calculate that. Okay, there's two ways to do it. Uh, you can say that it's pi r squared. So since the diameter of the wire is 2.3 millimeters, that would be 1.15 millimeters. Or you can say pi d squared over 4, right? because uh, d over 2 is the radius, so d squared over 2 squared is the same as r squared. Anyway, both of those methods of calculation uh, give you the same answer, which is 4.15 times 10 to the minus 6 square meters. Okay, so if I plug that in, plug each of those quantities in up here and then I get a resistance of uh, 19.86 ohms which uh, I'm given two sig figs in the problem so I'm going to round that off to 20 ohms. In part B it asks for the new resistance after we heat up the wire so our formula for that is that the resistance is equal to the original resistance times 1 plus alpha delta T. So our original resistance, of course, is uh, 19.86, and then alpha, the uh, temperature coefficient is uh, given to be 4.0 times 10 to the minus 4. And the temperature difference, while well, we're going from, uh, let's see, we're going from 20 to 850, so that's 830 Celsius, which is the same as a temperature difference of 830 degree Kelvin. So if I plug all those quantities in and I calculate R, my new R, I get 26.45 ohms, or rounding that to 26 ohms. Okay, part C, how much power is being supplied to the wire? So in terms of power supply, we use the formula delta V squared over R when it's at that temperature of uh, 850 degrees Celsius. The voltage is given to be 120 volts and the resistance being 26.45 uh, you calculate that out and round it it gets 540 watts. Part D is asking, it says power costs 15 cents per kilowatt hour and the wire stays connected for three hours, three and a half hours, how much does it cost? So. Um, all right, so what we need to find here is that, that 15 cents per kilowatt hour, that's a cost for energy. So let me calculate energy as being power multiplied by time. So we get 540 watts uh, multiplied by time. I want to multiply by 3.5 hours, but then I want to convert hours into seconds. Because, of course, watts is joules per second. Right, I can write this as joules per second. And that way the seconds cancel out, the hours cancel out, and I'm left with just joules. I'm left with 6.86 times 10 to the 6 joules. Um, and I can convert that into money by multiplying by this conversion factor given in the problem, which is that it's 15 cents is the equivalent of 1 kilowatt hour. And a kilowatt hour is 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules, right? So, works out to be 29 cents.